Hey everybody, welcome to our coaching sneak peek. Um, over the next couple days, you are going to be learning what it is that we do as coaches. And you're also going to hear stories shared from other coaches. Um, so I wanted today to start this whole group off, since some of you know me personally, and some of you don't. Um, I figured I'd share my personal story, and why I coach, and, um, and what coaching has done for my life. So flashback to, you know, my 18 to 21, 22, 23 year old self, um, you know, I was just, I was binge drinking, I was just partying like crazy, had no respect for my body, um, and really just thought I was invincible. Um, you know, working out, mm, you know, I, I, I tried to get myself to work out every once in a while, but it was definitely not something that I wanted to do or had any really desire to do. I just did it because I felt like it was something I should do. Um, but I mean, I was there. I would buy a gym membership and I'd go like three days that week and then boom, never go again. Um, but I'd keep paying for that gym membership because I kept thinking to myself, hey, next week, life's not going to be so crazy. I'll have time, get serious next week. There's always an excuse. Um, so bring on my 24 year old self um, when things start to get, re to get real um, I became pregnant and I was like man like boom that's partying has to stop so um, that was my solution for that which was a godsend um, and you know during my whole pregnancy I was extremely overwhelmed um, not only with just the pregnancy but I was finishing up grad school um, we decided to plan a wedding um, so I was just like stressed to the max and, um, I, reaching for food was like my cure all for that stress. I'd come home from work, you know, I was working a full time job and, um, just pig out, pig out. Um, and you know, being pregnant was my excuse. I thought it was okay. I thought, Hey, you know, when you're pregnant, you're supposed to indulge, eat a cheeseburger, eat French fries, eat five cheesesteaks, who cares? Um, and I really put on the pounds. And my body was really taking a toll. I was winded at like three months climbing the steps. Uh, my doctors had me, you know, they were counseling me every single checkup about my weight. And um, by month six, they said, you cannot be gaining this kind of weight. Like you need to, you need to chill out. You need to watch what you're eating. Um, and, you know, in the back of my mind, I'm like, yeah, you know, I should be eating healthy. But at the same time, I was so stressed that I let that stress completely overtake my life. Um, and it was that stress that I think was probably the main reason I went into labor at 34 weeks and had my son, um, at 34 weeks and thank God, um, everything was okay. He was healthy, but it was a major wake up call to me that I need to get my shit together. I need to stop stressing about stuff. I need to realize the priorities in life. I need to take care of myself. Uh, because after all, now I have to take care of a baby. How am I not going to, you know, how am I going to take care of myself or the baby if I can't take care of myself? So that's when I really kind of sat down and told myself, okay, I need to lose this baby weight. I need to learn to take care of myself. I need to learn to, you know, not put this, put this amount of stress on myself. Um, how am I going to do this? So, um, you know, I knew I was good. I had to lose the weight, but I hated working out. How in the world am I going to go to the gym when I don't even have time to eat right or, you know, manage my own life? Um, now I have a baby, I can't get out of the house. So all this time I'm watching a girlfriend of mine um, who I met when I was living in Costa Rica. And she had been posting these pictures on Facebook about her transformation and how she did P90X. So I'm like, eh, that stuff doesn't work. Um, you know, I would never even think about finishing a program like that, let alone having the commitment to do it. Um, you know, believe it or not, like all through high school, I did three sports. I was super active, but you know what? I hated the working out. I hated being active. I would cry inside when it was time to run suicides. So I was thinking to myself, my God, like, I can't do this. That's for her. What else can I do? Give me some quick fix. So I messaged her and she said, look, there is no quick fix, but I can tell you if you really commit to one of these groups I'm doing and, and do a program, I'll help you see the results that you want. I said, all right, you know what? Things have to change. I have to make this change for me, for myself, for my baby, for my family. Um, 
for my life quality. So I decided to take on Turbofire. It looked, you know, I was a cheerleader. It looked pretty fun. There was lots of jumping, high energy music. I'm like, I could do this. And I did it. And I joined one of her groups and she helped me through it. And uh, I told everybody in the world, I decided to become a coach like two weeks into the program. So I'm like, you know what? I'm one of those people who needs to be held accountable or I will slack off. I will give up. So I announced it to the world. Hey, I'm doing this, this beach body program. You know, watch me transform myself. And uh, that cocky attitude was kind of what helped me, you know, stay true to it and get through the program. Um, so I ended up finishing Turbo Fire. I took on Shailene Extreme and really toned up. I was amazed by myself. And it was like this instant, this instant uh, confidence boost that, oh my gosh, like I can do this. And there are so many people out there that are probably just like I am, overworked, completely stressed out, putting themselves at the bottom of the, you know, the priority totem pole. And my God, like even if I'm only in my late 20s, like this is, I, I need to be taking care of myself. Like I want to live a life for my kids. I want to be there when I'm, you know, supposed to be 60 in, in their wedding. Um, so I really kind of had this like aha moment where I'm like, you know what? Like people need to hear that this is possible. People really need to start taking care of themselves. I was one of the first people that realized that my God, I was living a totally reckless life. Um, so I, I took on something wonderful in coaching um, because now I actually not only am keeping myself accountable to living this healthy lifestyle that I so desperately need in my life, um, but I'm also helping others and sharing with them what has been able to help for me, you know, work for me, and what can work for them. Um, so coaching not only has helped physically, um, it's really transformed me mentally. You know, I have this whole new. Uh, newfound self-love, self self-worth. Self you know, I, I can understand, you know, where I need to be, how I need to treat my body. I need to treat my body with respect. I need to fuel it with the type of foods that it's going to thrive from, not crap that's processed and just going to probably give me cancer. Um, so, you know, I really, really, really have kind of mentally transformed, physically transformed. And that with that, doing that and only bettering myself and helping better others, um, it's helped our family financially immensely. Um, it's been, we've gotten a new house. Um, you know, we don't have to worry about bills as much as we used to. Um, my kids are provided for. Um, groceries are, I can go to the grocery store without a budget. Um, mind you, I definitely try to stick to a budget because that's who I am. Uh, but I don't have to stress about not having enough money to buy the foods that I want. Um, so, you know, I'm telling you guys, even if it's an extra hundred dollars a week, God, that can do so much. And it's so easy to do that. And all it is is about connecting with other people and proving to them, Hey, this is possible and showing them that I'm here for you and having somebody to support them. Um, it really does wonders. So the core values of why I coach is to help inspire others, help show others that this is important. You need to be taking care of you. Um, life is always going to be crazy. There's always going to be excuses. And, um, you know, being an overworked, stressed out workaholic is not the way to live. What, you're missing out on everything by doing that. Um, don't live to work, you know. Um, you need to be enjoying the moments in life. And you want to be able to do that for a long time. So you need to take care of your health. Um, so that's basically kind of my, it's just my philosophy and my, my meaning and purpose in life um, from being a coach. And that just seeing those positive transformations, it does. It makes you feel amazing. Um, you know, I'm a speech pathologist in the schools. I work with kids all day. And I love changing kids' lives and helping them better themselves. But working with adults and my peers, um, it's definitely is a special thing. I like doing that a lot. So I hope you guys really enjoy the next couple of days learning a little bit more about what exactly coaches do, all the ins and outs, the nitty gritty little details that go into coaching. Um, I hope it answers questions for you. Whenever there's a question that you haven't had answered yet, just reach out to me on Facebook um, and I'll answer it for you. Have a great day, guys. And uh, yeah, hopefully for a lot of you, it's a three-day week until Thanksgiving. Yay! All right, bye.